Good afternoon. It has been vetoed by the governor twice. Now lawmakers are hoping the third time is a charm in the effort to pay a lot more money to, New Me to most of New Mexico's judges. News 13's Natalie Waters talked to the senator behind this push. Natalie is live at the Roundhouse this evening. Dean, it's not just about the money. Lawmakers say they desperately need more qualified judges on the bench. Well, for two years now, we put this bill on the governor's desk by unanimous, or nearly unanimous votes in both the House and Senate. The, the goal of this bill is to make judicial salaries competitive with the private sector. Senate Bill 70 seeks to give Supreme Court judges a roughly 20% raise, a salary of $232,600. In a tiered structure, the bill then ties the salaries of appeals court, district court, and metro court judges to that amount. 95% of the Supreme Court is paid to the Court of Appeals. 95% of the Court of Appeals is paid to the district, which is the trial judges. Senator Joseph Cervantes says with the salaries where they are now, the courts aren't able to attract experienced lawyers to the bench, especially when competing with what federal judges make. When there's a vacancy in the federal court, we may get 50 or more applicants to a federal position. When we have a state vacancy, we might get one or two applicants. There's such a disparity between the federal and state salaries that the federal courts are attracting the more experienced um, lawyers and we need to be competitive. In the Senate Finance Committee today, Cervantes says the difference with this bill this year is that those state salaries are not tied to the federal salary rate, allowing the legislature to set the amount. We're kind of taking the lowest level, just about the lowest level of the federal system and, and making that essentially equivalent to the highest level of our state. Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham axed similar efforts in 2022 and 2023. But this time, leaders think she'll be on board with the pay hikes. We're hoping to make progress on this particular issue, uh, specifically with the governor this year, and, and we're encouraged that she will support it. We're trying to get the governor satisfied. This passed the floor last time, 32 to 2, it passed the House 64 to 3. We're not only having to satisfy ourselves in the legislative process, but the governor's repeatedly vetoed this twice now. We're trying to thread a needle and see if we can get her to sign it for a change. This bill passed the Senate Finance Committee unanimously and now heads to the Senate floor. Back to you. All right, Natalie, thank you. In a statement, the governor's office told News 13 today that House Bill 141, which mirrors this Senate bill, is a priority for the governor.